Azerbaijan is a very um, oppressed place for citizens. They cannot tell their opinion openly. Um, there is no media and there is no proper educational system. There is no health care system for Azerbaijanis. So uh, everybody's scared that their family members or them themselves will be arrested, taken to jail, tortured, killed. Um, that's why everybody keeps silent and those people who talk either go to jail or finally find their way abroad. Uh, my name is Jamal Ali. I'm a musician, rapper, living in Berlin since 12 years. I or originally I'm from Azerbaijan. Um, I was living in Azerbaijan until I was 18. Then I moved to, to Turkey to study for six years. And when I came back from uh, my studies, it was the year of Eurovision in Azerbaijan. And uh, there was a street protest that I was invited to perform as a musician. And uh, the, my concert was interrupted. And they said that yeah, I'm cursing. And um, I was not cursing till that moment, but I wanted to show them what's a real curse. Then I started cursing direction president. So I got arrested for 10 days and I was lucky that uh, because of the media attention uh, for the musician who is sitting in jail during the Eurovision Song Contest, I was released in, from jail and I was given two options. Either I stay in jail for five years uh, because of what I said or I go wherever I want and never come back. So I took a decision to come to Berlin. I arrived in Germany in 2017 after my husband, who is also an investigative journalist, was kidnapped by the security services of Georgia and Azerbaijan and was forcibly taken to Baku and jailed for six years in imprisonment. It was uh, 2014 when a huge crackdown started on Azerbaijani media uh, journalists and mainly to civil society of Azerbaijan. A lot of criminal case was launched against non-governmental organizations and uh, this was uh, one of the difficult years that Azerbaijan journalists and civil society members was confronting. And it was as a result of the change uh, that government did to, Azerbaijan, to the local legislation about the law on media and also the law about foreign grants in order to completely to uh, minimize and cut the foreign funding which uh, non-governmental organizations and uh, ver uh, organizations were working. And since then, the situation has never been become better, even worse, uh, starting from last year, uh, November. Uh, again, the second wave of arrests started. I am Elmin Bedalov. I Azerbaijan in the first place of the Azerbaijan Ado Theater Universitet. Later, Berlin'e gelmek mecburiyetinde kaldım. Böyle ki Azerbaycan hükümeti tarafından baskılara maruz kaldım ve tehdit olundum ve beni öldürmeyi istediler. O yüzden ben hal hazırda buradayım. Bir neçə dəfə polis gəldi, mənim teatrımı bağladı, tamaşa göstərərkən işıqları kəsirdilər, suyu kəsirdilər və s. Bu proses davam edirdi və biz eyni zamanda istəyirdik ki, Azərbaycanda küçə incə sənəti formalaşsın və tamaşaçılarımıza daha yaxın getmək istəyirdik. O yüzden öz küçələrimizdə tamaşa göstərmək istəyirdik. Lakin buna icazə verilmişdi və bu məhkəmə prosesləri də oldu hüquq. In Azərbaycan abbiamo una continua violazione dei diritti umani e noi abbiamo seguito nel corso degli anni alcuni momenti di picco in cui sono stati molti più arresti e molti più tentativi di silenziare attivisti politici, giornalisti e artisti in terra zera e purtroppo nell'ultimo anno e mezzo assistiamo a uno di quei picchi. Questo secondo noi è dovuto sia al coinvolgimento che è stato fatto in maniera straordinaria dell'Azerbaigian nel G7 
che è stato ospitato in Italia dove loro sono stati ospiti d'onore sia alla COP29 che sarà appunto a Baku eh, nel mese di novembre. It's not the first massive international event. Uh, we as citizens have already experienced what's about to happen. Uh, first big one was Eurovision Song Contest for which they whole rebuilt the whole city just to show people around the world uh, how beautiful the city is. They destroyed the neighborhoods, took people's flats away, never paid them any money. Uh, we were protesting against that. After that they invented uh, European Olympic Games in 2015 which never was repeated anymore. Uh, this, this fire of Olympic Games just dissolved in, in void. And uh, COP29 is I think a continuation of the chain to show the whole world how democratic we are, how we are very, very, very um, much giving attention to um, environmental issues. But if you really want to know what's happening in Azerbaijan, just uh, go there by a plane and just the moment the plane is landing in the airport, you will see Absharon Peninsula, where Baku is stated. It has all kind of lakes made of oil, some waste, purple lake, yellow lake, green lake, it's just waste. Aliyev's family is one of the corrupted family in the world and they want to live uh, luxury life uh, to spend and have a rest in European countries and they love money. The situation in the country deteriorated after they get access to uh, oil and gas contracts with the European countries. The more money came to the country, the richer they became and the powerful they became. L'Azerbaijan in questo momento è il maggior partner energetico dell'Italia. Quindi se noi sommiamo l'import di petrolio e gas è il paese dal quale prendiamo più fossili in questo momento. Many politicians in Europe are bought uh, with money, with caviar. They are speaking about Azerbaijan in highly. I know Italy is also one of now uh, highly speaking about Azerbaijan, a democracy in Azerbaijan, which is not true at all. I advise those people who believe in these stories to go and check this place for themselves.